here with Andrew Radonjic, Managing Director of Venture Minerals. Andrew, thanks for your time. How are you, David? Well, good. 2019 coming to a close, it's been a big year. What are some of the highlights for Venture? Well, Venture has uh, essentially gone at path, down that pathway of going from producer to, from sorry, explorer to producer. And that's been, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to be done in it, you know, getting an offtake done, raising uh, capital, uh, redoing the feasibility study and then making that decision to recommence mining. So, uh, so we're very close to, to mining now. We've got uh, infrastructure on site. We're just waiting to get the uh, access agreement signed off with Hydro Tasmania and then we're away. And what does that cash flow mean for the business and the other projects? Well, for the business, uh, clearly it uh, means less dilution for shareholders. We can be self-funded. And depending on the quantum of capital, uh, oh, sorry, profit we make from the project, we can start reinvesting that into the Mount Lindsay project, if that makes sense. But that's still our longer term goal. It's, you know, I know mine at Riley is a two year mine life. It's, uh, it's only a means to an end. It's, it's all about making money to go and invest in a much longer term Mount Lindsay project, which is currently looking around that seven day year. And what are some of the key highlights, if you like, of Mount Lindsay? Well, Mount Lindsay, uh, we completed the B BFS before, so it's got 83 kilometres of drilling, diamond core drilling. So in terms of, you know, it's drilled out, ready to go, the metal edge has been done, $35 million spent in the project. But the problem is we had a fairly big capex number before. Now we're going to just look at mining instead of an open pit with 14 million tonnes. Just concentrating, because it's on top of Mount Lindsay, is putting a tunnel into the side of the hill and extracting the high grade core, which is around that three or four million tonnes. So it'll be a much smaller plant, much uh, reduced footprint, so easier to fund and also easier to permit. But if you can get some money out of Riley, then even easier to fund again, because the quantums will come down quite dramatically. Looking forward to 2020, what should investors and potential investors into venture focus on? Well, 2020, you know, we're, we're obviously very close to the end of 2020 now. So, you know, first shipment very early in the new year. Um, so that'll be a huge milestone for the company. Uh, obviously getting into positive cash flow quite quickly. And then from then, uh, the company can not start, can start looking at maybe advancing Mount Lindsay further from finishing off that scoping study on, on the underground concept and, uh, and then people can understand the value of that. So all of a sudden we start that gradual phase of settling down on the iron ore production, bedding that right there, that's the main focus. But then slowly start to have a look at a few, few things at Mount Lindsay, including what we announced this morning where we've got those great EM targets of one sitting along strike from Renison Bell. Love to drill that next year, maybe a new discovery as well, who knows? Well, exciting times ahead for Venture and its shareholders. All the best for next year. Thanks for your time. Great, thanks David.